Hey, everybody. So I have to say that this is very likely the coolest piece of uh, software that I have reviewed so far and gone over on this channel. Uh, and then so this is called Llama File, and it's put out by Mozilla, like the people that make Firefox and uh, all of that. And so uh, Llama File is extremely cool. Uh, it's C++. Uh, it's and it's essentially at its core, it's really simple. Uh, it's a single file, and then so you just download the Llama file. It's a four gig file, and then depending on whether or not you're on Mac or Windows or Linux, then you have uh, different install um, options and, and different ways to install. So for Windows, uh, which I'm running this machine on, it was very straightforward. Just uh, download the model uh, and then change the model to EXE on the end. Uh, so just follow this, <laughs> and then and then literally uh, once I download the file, then I just open the file, um, and then it does exactly what it says. Uh, it opens it on a uh, local port, which we have over here, uh, and then so when you first open it up, this is the exact screen that you get. Um, and then uh, this is it. <laughs> this is a, literally uh, an LLM model. And then so you can choose the models. Um, so the default model is this Lava 1.5. And so I wanted the default model because uh, this Lava 1.5 model is a cool model to me because it's a multimodal model, meaning that it can handle both um, text and uh, picture, like uh, like images. Uh, and then they also have Mistral 7B, which is a cool model to play around with. Uh, and then also uh, Wizard Coder 13B. So really cool models that they include with it. Like currently right now, you can't fine tune or do anything more with the models. You can just like install, but uh, it's like the biggest thing to point out with this is like what is surprising to me about all of this is the fact that it's actually running on this computer. Uh, and then so this computer specifically, uh, like showing off the specs of this computer, uh, it's running a uh, Ryzen 3 Pro 2300 with a mighty G, uh, like uh, integrated graphics card. So it's purely integrated graphics uh, and 8 gigs of RAM of which 6.93 gigabytes is actually usable. So like at any time doing anything at all on this system, it's, it's like maxing out, right? Like even just running what we're doing right now and just running all of this, I'm at 89% memory and 25% CPU. So when I actually like send a request and I, like a prompt to the model, uh, it's maxing out the system like 100% uh, on the CPU and then almost like 98% on the memory, which is why I'm not doing a live example because the token usage would be see like, uh, and the last example I was getting like 1.97 tokens because the last example that I utilized was this image. I wanted to see if it could describe the image, uh, but before that, I was getting about like three, three and a half tokens per second. And then so if I install this like actually like on a good machine, like on my desktop or something along those lines, which I'm going to do, uh, the performance would be uh, extraordinary. Like I'd be able to use this as a, as a like as you normally would. <laughs> and, but uh, for me, this is cool that it's actually like running on this system because it's this system is like the exact opposite design of a system that uh, this should be running on like, like this system is AMD and it's under spec uh, and it's integrated graphics and here we are uh, running a lava model <clears throat> uh, which is like a fine-tuned uh, again like fine-tuned for a multimodal uh, llama model uh, and then so I ask it some questions tell me about wild llamas and then here's its response here's a response all about wild llamas and then I said can you provide the Python code for guarantee facts home and then it provides the game uh, and then I ask it to describe the image. And then here's its description of uh, that picture that we've been looking at there. And it gives kind of a good description of the image. It gets some of the things wrong. Like it says that there's two clocks visible within the image, uh, one towards the top, one towards the bottom left. And I don't see any clocks in the image. Maybe it's that. I, it could be. <laughs> so it could be pointing out things uh, within this image that I'm not seeing uh, as well. But uh, Overall, this is really super duper cool to me. Again, like it's literally, it's just go to the GitHub, download the file, uh, and then whether you're on a Mac or a PC, follow the Quick Start or Linux, follow the Quick Start 
guide and instructions and then that's it like just open the file <laughs> uh, and then once you do that you're all set um, and then you you have uh, everything that you would want um, and then you can start talking and generating uh, and using the LLM model they uh, in future revisions they said that they're gonna allow for more like fine-tuning of models and things like that uh, but again like currently this is like a like if you just want an LLM model and you want it to run on any system uh, and you want to get it up and running quickly and then especially if you want a multimodal model uh, like nothing else is going to beat this this is amazing to me so uh, I'll leave a description uh, to the github in this video uh, check out uh, llama file it's kind of the coolest thing uh, and then so Mozilla these guys stay around like they you know like um, Firefox uh, prior to Firefox, they had like a, I can't even remember now what like Mozilla had before then, but like Mozilla comes around and they've been around. Um, and then so they, every once in a while, release some cool and interesting stuff. Um, so thank you, Mozilla, for this. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on this and using it more. And so if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.